Hey guys, thank you for coming back for part three. This has been a long process. Uh, I'm going to start with the the um, tchotchke and then we'll move on to the bags and other stuff. Uh, well, actually let me start with the makeup and then we'll go to tchotchke. I got a Rimmel. I got some makeup that was sealed and they were 99 cents a piece. I got a Rimmel uh, palette. It's four colors. It's like a white, lavender, purplish a uh, couple of purple colors in there and um, I don't know I've never really tried these eyeshadows but I've been wanting to get some purples some light purples because I have some other dark ones but I don't have any light ones and I like these colors then this is just um, it says Lorac and it says lips with benefits I've never tried this brand it had sort of a swirl design inside and it's just sort of a light pink you know I'll probably put it on top of other colors or whatever it's um it's a pretty good brand I think um, it looks like it and it actually feels nice I already tried it so I really like it then I got uh, this really nice vase I guess it's a vase it's crystal it says made in the Czech Republic at the bottom and it's really nice and hefty and I had hesitated buying something for my makeup um, things because I have a lot of vases but I like this one because it was nice and heavy and I don't want it for the brushes. I keep my brushes with a, another container that I have that has a lid because I, I don't feel like um, I want to have the brushes out in the open getting dusty. But I have a whole bunch of lip liner pencils and eyeliner pencils. And they tend to get lost in my caboodle where I keep my makeup. So I thought I would put them in here. And I, I really like it if it was only $3. Then I got some candles. And I have already burned these candles. So I know they work really well. This one is Applejack. And it says country, country bumpkin or something on there. It's sort of a pink candle. It says, I can smell it already, and it smells really good. Nice and strong. I mean, I burned it for like an hour, and it's the room is just fabulous. I love the way it smells. This is a vanilla scented candle. It was That one was $2. This one was $3. And these are hefty candles. These were brand new unused candles. And I always smell the candles because they get, tend to go rancid. And, oh my goodness, it smells like baking cookies. Total vanilla. This was $3. It has a double wick on there, which I guess keeps it from to burn, you know, keeps it burning evenly. Smelled really, really good. And this is actually a local company. I didn't realize it until I read the label, but it says Candles and More, and More is M-O-O-R-E as in a surname. And it's from Montgomery, Texas, which is about 30 miles away from where I'm at. Um... Uh, and so that was a score too, I think, $3 for that. I got a vinyl LP. My son collects vinyl. Uh, this is the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones through the past. I don't know if he'll like it. If not, I'll put it on eBay. I already saw that they sell for like $13, $14. And they had one listed for $150. So I don't know. I guess it depends on the origin. This one's out of London. And I just thought it was kind of cool. I like the stones. And if he doesn't like it, well, you know, I'll just keep it in my hoard. But uh, this was 75 cents. Good deal on that, I think. Then I got some hankies, a little trio of hankies. These are for my mom. She is quite the lady, and she likes to carry her handkerchiefs in her purse. So uh, I got her a brand new little box of three hankies for $1.91. Then we got a cute, darling little Kelly bag key ring. It's from Fossil. It's leather. It's got a little kiss snap. It's perfect for, you know, a couple of coins, your stamps, whatever. It's just so cute. I just as a purse charm, you know, it's just darling. And uh, I got it for $3. It was half price at that store. And a um, leather little blue bag from Fossil. Love that. Then I got another fossil. This is an ID um, key key thingy, whatever. Uh, you put you know your ID in here. I thought this would be good for my daughter who's going into high school and is probably going to have to carry her school ID this year. It's a cute ballerina pink color. It's a little scruffy, but uh, I'll doctor it up and clean it up. It's you know it's not too bad. I think it's just probably from lying around at the thrift store because uh, on the inside it's pretty clean it's just you know got a little got a little dingy that uh, we can take that off no problem 
Then I got a whole bunch of pantyhose for her. These are actually mostly vintage, I would say. They say um, silk and sheer. They're blue, dark navy blue, periwinkle blue, <clears throat> Kelly green, super dark green, and then sort of an indigo blue, denim blue. And uh, these were either $1.91 or $0.99. Cents. I am sometimes leery of buying pantyhose for one reason, or vintage pantyhose, because once I bought some and they literally disintegrated in my hands. So I guess it depends on the brand, because these feel nice and silky, on the brand and the quality of the item, because, um, you know, these, these feel good. But like I said, the ones that I bought one time, I pulled them out of the package and they literally disintegrated in my hands. I don't know, it's crazy. Uh, then I got the cutest little frame that I'm going to use to um, accentuate my dad's belt buckle. I lost my dad this year, one year ago in June. And this is a belt buckle that I bought him when I was young. When I was uh, like in my 20s, I bought him this belt buckle and it's it's silver, it's handmade. I put it on layaway, it was so expensive <laughs> at a Western store. And it's got the Texas map, it's got an oil derrick in coral, and the Texas map is in turquoise. And my daddy wore this every day of his life after I gave it to him. It was one of his favorite things to wear. So when he died, I got it back, and I put just hung it on my wall with a lot of other things. I took pictures of his boots and different things that the siblings and I did. But I want to house it with a little bit more prominence, so I bought this pretty little frame for it. And I'm just going to put it on the wall like this. I'm not going to put any glass or anything. It's just going to um, accentuate it. And this is, uh, you can tell it's a quality frame. It's very heavy. I only got it for $3. And it's got, I don't know, first I thought they were like bears or something, but it's just an abstract design on it. It's got nice red velvet, really rich feeling velvet on here. And uh, I'm just going to house that... Uh, fabulous belt buckle that my daddy used to sport on the wall and uh, so that's what I got there then I got a fabulous book big coffee table book and it's called um, illustrating fashion and I looked through it and it had all kinds of articles and pictures on how to illustrate fashion with or without a model and it's just got all kinds of illustrations and pictures of past fashions and I don't even know I think this is probably from the 50s or, or 40s it, I you know it's a, it's an old book but fashion is such a cyclical thing that uh, you know what's old is new what's new is old and since I am in the um, online retail business and I love uh, vintage fashion I love fashion in general I want to learn more and more about how to, um, the jargon of the industry, how to value the items that I list on Etsy and eBay, and how to get that customer to value it as well, how to get that customer to buy it. And I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm a learner, so I always like to, to learn my trade, and um, this is a book that I think can help me. Plus, I just love books. I love old books. I love the smell of old books. There's a guy on eBay right now. I just saw his video and I love his videos about uh, talking about how to get rid of the smell of old books. And uh, I don't know about you, but I love the smell of old books. I find them intoxicating. Maybe I'm just a, an old bibliophile. But uh, I just, I love books and I think this is one fabulous book. She had it for 12 but since I had already spent so much money, uh, she told me, well, the books aren't on half aren't half price today like everything else was but you know I'll let you have it for six so I got it for six and I was really happy I really like it and then uh, what else did I get whoops there they went okay I got I think I already showed you the little bag but I also got this really nice big wallet it has a magnetic closure there it's from um, what's the name of this place this is Hobo. 
It's a hobo wallet. It's leather. It's metallic silver. It's got three little card slots, an ID slot. And what I love about it is that it's got this huge compartment. And I've, I've never seen a wallet do this. I saw a review of a Louis Vuitton wallet, and I was impressed when she opened it up that way on the side. And the Louis Vuitton wallets have this little, this little compartment. I think it's pretty awesome. This may become my favorite wallet. And then this little snapper right here doesn't exactly uh, ha doesn't exa exactly close together. They each have their own compartment. So there's a little coin purse here with more card slots and uh, more nooks and crannies there. Then there's another one over here with a zipper compartment. And boy, it's really, really cute. And I got it for $2.50. It was Mark V and it's brand new. It hasn't even been used. Nice silver metallic on there. And let me see, okay, we got the album. Let me start with the purses. Excuse me. All right, I got a Dooney, a, um, what do you call it, a late, not a, yeah, a more recent late model Dooney. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to give it to my mom. It's fabric. It's got um, the DB all over the fabric there, black. It's very clean. It's, uh, it might need a cleaning on the inside. It's really not that bad, but, you know, it could use a just a little spray and wash or something on the inside. I already have it stuffed up. It's got a really nice thick leather strap. And it's very lightweight, and that's why I like it for my mom. And it's still got the leather fob. Supposedly they don't make the leather key fob anymore, but it's got it right there. And it's got the made, um, the... Where is it? The Dooney and Burke label. I got this for $10. It's not bad because it's, it's a really nice bag. It's, you know, pretty clean. And um, here it is. Now it just says Dooney and Burke because they, supposedly they don't make them in the USA anymore. But there we go. And uh, it's got the uh, DBs all over the black fabric not very worn at all and I like it because my mom doesn't like heavy bags she doesn't really like shoulder straps but this can kind of be used like a like a handbag and uh, it's a Dooney pretty cute ten dollars today all right so that's the Dooney and then I got this bag over here which I really really liked excuse me again for traveling, it reminded me of, um, of course, the drawstring, uh, you know, Louis Vuitton that I have. I have the Noe bag. It's maybe not quite as big as the Noe bag, but it is leather trim, and it's got little feet at the bottom. And it's so lightweight. It's perfect for traveling because, you know, the only thing that's going to weigh is what you put in it. And the, uh, the fabric is quite... Laura Ashley, and you know, for you gals out there who don't remember or don't know, I think I'm speaking ancient, ancient history, Laura Ashley was all 80s. It was the polished cotton floral motif, uh, wallpaper prints I think they call them as well, and she made, you know, all the dresses and, and stuff of the 80s, and this is by Benchmark. It's made in the USA, it says on the label, made in the USA. Even the inside has a leather trim. There's the label there. And it's got some pockets here with a, sort of a parachute uh, plastic type material on the inside. $3.93 today. I showed it to my daughter. She loves it. So uh, I thought it was good for our, like, you know, an every, it can be an everyday bag, of course, but I love duffels when we travel because you can just pack it in and it can be your purse or it can be your carry-on or whatnot okay so that and it's brand new benchmark i think it's really cute now for the big score we've got some antique bags vintage bags this is genuine snakeskin 
it's a cute little Kelly style bag. I'm going to hang it up. It's got a little wrinkle here. Uh, but it's just pristine. I think it's so pretty. It's sort of a tobacco. It's sort of a tobacco brown color. And it's got the cutest little closure at the front. Tiny little closure there. Three compartments on the inside. I got it for $6. And this one does not have a brand on it. It doesn't say anything. I think it says some kind of logo on the little zipper thingy on the inside. But it's three compartments. And, um, boy, it's just precious. I just love it. Genuine snakeskin. It will be on Etsy very soon if you like antique bags and you're interested, just keep looking on my Etsy shop. The link is on the uh, left-hand side of my uh, YouTube page. It's um, Thelma's Trove is the name of my shop. And boy, this is cute. I just love it. This is um, a bag that I literally just found because they didn't even have it on display. They had it at the back of the counter. And I always go back there and look around because the place is so crowded that they really don't have time to tend to you and you know show you the bag so they pretty much know me and I just kind of go back there and, and look around and sometimes I ask and sometimes I don't and sometimes they tell me not to and sometimes they let me so either way I went back there and I found this in a box it was still in the box it wasn't even up there it wasn't even up on display so that was this one and then this one is really nice too this is sort of I, I'm, I'm sure this is either crocodile or alligator because I have sold a bag that was actually my mother's friend and um, on the inside it said genuine croc so I sold it for quite a bit of money on Etsy and um, I, I could swear this is the same thing it really feels the same it's very boxy and hard and really pretty this one does have a label on it now it's a little faded but it says Balanstein's or Balanstrain I'll have to I'll have to link it later when I find out when I get my magnifying glass out and, and read it. And this one does need just a tad bit of cleaning. But it's so cute. Snap works fine. It is just the cutest little brown crocodile bag. Alligator bag. I'm not sure which, but uh, anyway, two vintage bags, six dollars a piece. Score of the day as far as um purses are concerned and so guys it looks like that was it that was my thrift store haul it uh, it was a long and arduous process it took me seven hours to find everything today but you know it's my fun it's my therapy I absolutely love it the thrill of the hunt is what uh, what gets me up in the morning I just love it it's it's something that I do for fun it's a, maybe an obsession or compulsion, but uh, I like it, and I'm glad you joined me. Please be sure and rate and uh, comment and subscribe. I really love having you join me on these hauls, and I hope you come back again. Bye-bye.